Hey guys, Shane here at CrossFit Chef helping you go further, faster in fitness. And today's a quick one. It is about, I, like, it's just simply, it's this easy. If something in your life stops you, if you get run over, if you get hit by a truck, if you get pushed to the ground, you know, figuratively speaking, like this doesn't actually happen to you. But I want you just to get back up one more time. And I know that's so cliche. That is so cliche. It annoys the hell out of me when it comes out of my mouth. But guess what? It's a cliche for a reason. It is specifically designed to be said over and over again so you get the point. Laying down, staying down, and giving up will never get you anything that you wanted, right? You're not going to, no one's going to come over to you and give you whatever it was that you were chasing when you got hit by that figure of truck, right? Like it didn't really happen. But I want you to think about it like this. If you decide that you want something in life and you stop the first time something comes up, you've just basically said that whatever it was that you were chasing no longer means anything to you. And in fact, if we were really breaking it down, it probably never meant anything at all. It's the goals that make you get back up time and time and time again that you were born to achieve that you were born to have. I say this really quickly, and and this video will probably go for longer than I want it to, but I say this because I know a lot of people tend to just sort of stop when a challenge pops up. Somebody, and the reason I think at this, thinking about this right now, is someone told me recently that for two weeks in a row, you know, their body composition hasn't changed. And I think if the only way you're measuring that data anyway is through weight on a scale, then you're probably wrong. You probably have, and I'd bet my bottom dollar on it, that you've definitely changed in a positive way. But if that's your only marker of data that you've used, then hey, I guess what you're saying is true. Nothing's changed. But like, what's the alternative now? Like, what do we do from here? Do we stay in this spot and continue doing on or do we get back up and do we move forward and do we keep going? So this... Shane Talks little video here is only to motivate you for those who need it. Those of you who have almost given up on yourself, don't give up on yourself. You have everything it takes to be and have whatever it is that you want as long as it truly means something to you. If you're thinking about giving up and you decide, yep, I'm going to give up, remember that means that the goal that you picked wasn't right. It wasn't anywhere near your top three values because you would never give up. Well, this is... You would never give up on your family is what I was going to say, but there are people out there who do because it's not in their top three values. But a no, like a normal person would not give up on their child. They would never, ever walk away. A lot of you wouldn't even give up on your jobs. You would push and push and push. And yet sometimes when it comes to your own things in life, you give up. So don't give up. And if you are going to give up, that's okay. If, if, if you are going to give up on that goal, here's why it's okay. Because it wasn't your goal to have. You didn't deserve it. It wasn't yours. You were living somebody else's goal because now you've given up and you've walked away from it. Don't talk to me about how you, oh, I just couldn't do it. It was too hard. No, what I hear when I, what I hear when you say that is, Shane, that wasn't my goal. That was somebody else's goal who I was trying to live out. I was trying to lose weight for my wife. I was trying to lose weight for my parents. I was trying to lose weight for someone else who was nagging me to lose weight. It wasn't for me. It wasn't my goal. If it was truly your goal, if it was deep inside your heart, tears in the back of your eyes, throat tingling inspiration goal. Like that's where it's at. You would never have even thought about giving up. The fact that you got knocked down would merely be an inconvenience and you would have got back up and you would have pushed forward. So it's okay to change your goals. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to give up and it's okay to walk away from them as long as you understand that that was never your goal to live and it's turn or sorry, it's time now for you to find that goal that does mean that to you that you will fight for, that you will stand back up time and time and time again. Because the one you just gave up on wasn't yours, it was somebody else's or it was one that you read somewhere and you thought it was yours. Don't give up on the things that mean the most to you. (sighs) Thanks, I had to get that out. Anyway, that's all I've got time for on Shane Talks. If you want to come to the gym, I will be here because I'm here seven days a week. (laughs) Hopefully I'll see you in the gym soon. Have a good one, guys. Bye.